Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back, finally from vacation. It's been a long time and we're back here inside LA. I have neglected the C5 Corvette for the longest time now. It's actually like right before we left, we were having some problems with the C5 Corvette. We were on our way back from Disneyland, coming back home and the car was having some electric issues, which I'll show you guys on the screen. It was flickering on and off, on and off while we were on the highway. I should just disconnect this whole thing. This, uh... I don't know. Wait, can I, can I see this, this light? Literally had to pull over on the highway and everything reset itself and we were able to make it back home, but that was a big issue. So I'm not even fully sure. Literally after that happened, I parked the car and said, I'm not even gonna mess with it anymore. So I have some suspicions of what that could be. I think it could be either my kill switch, even though technically the kill switch, I don't know if that would really do that because of it. it technically like the car, even if you take the battery out while the car is running, it should still stay running so i don't know if that's it it could be bad uh negative ground so i'm gonna check that and then also the car definitely needs oil change and then for sure it was it did have a check engine light if you guys remember like a video we did like a while ago when we went out into the canyons with the corvette and the mustang it did throw a check engine light that check engine light went went away but uh it's still present in the car so I need to go check to see what that is. So there's, so there's a couple things I need to figure out what's going on with the C5 Corvette. But it's nice to be back. It's kind of back into things. So we're gonna try to dive back into the C5 Corvette and see what's going on. I don't have all the supplies for the oil change, so I'm gonna have to order some of that stuff and hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. But this will all be inside the same vlog. So uh, yeah, but uh, I wanna see if the check engine light is still present inside this thing. Okay, so I just did the manual diagnostics check inside of the vehicle. So it's showing a lot of historic codes, no current codes. I haven't turned the car on. I'm gonna turn it on, let it just warm up for a bit. And then I wanna see if the check engine light comes back on in the car itself. So we'll see what happens. Technically, since I killed all, killed all the power to the car since we've been gone, yeah, that would have probably would have cleared the code, but I want to see when it comes back on. So I'm going to start the car up and then uh, see what happens. So this is going to be a cold start for over a month. So it should still start up. Let's see. It sounded like the alternator or something like that was maybe dying, but... Usually when the alternator dies, it just slowly dies. This was like it was cutting on and off, on and off. So I wanna like jiggle the battery. My theory is... No. Hmm. 
That's not doing anything. Like any vacuum leaks? Let me see what the car says. Still no check engine light or anything like that. I'm gonna leave the car on. I'm gonna just put the car on the trickle charger and see if, you know, with the car being on, the battery and everything like that. Uh, like when I turn the car off, I'm gonna just hook it up to the trickle charger to keep the battery charged. I just wanna see if the check engine light comes back on. Like if, you know, the car being on. I just want to see, what if I just press this by accident, like... Okay, no, that does nothing. What if I press it off by accident? And then I jiggle... Okay guys, so this is day two of this. So I did a little bit more research in that last clip you saw me, I was checking the car. I was trying to see if, if there was any vacuum leaks or anything like that. I kept hearing something, not fully sure. But, uh, so did a little more research, trying to figure out what's been going on. If you guys know, I'm sure if you're subscribers of my channel, you probably know Matt Fahara from The Smoking Tire. Actually, I was even like looking at a post he did with his C5 Corvette when he sold it. Like he had like this write-up he did like a couple years ago. It was thing is on like car and driver. He even did mention with him, with his C5, he had a lot of electrical problems, but after just literally keeping it on the trickle charger like all the time, everything kind of went away. So I'm hoping maybe it just probably was doing with the kill switch. I don't know, but what I'm gonna do right now, check the negative grounds under, inside the engine bay. I do have the dielectric grease, some like cleaners in case I do need to clean something. We'll see, so we'll see. I figured real quick, I'll check the ones, I think there's three in the engine bay, or actually no, there might be four in the engine bay. Uh, I know one's actually underneath the battery. I'll check the other ones first. If those ones are corroded, then I will disconnect the battery and move all of that and get to the one that's underneath the battery. I just don't want to disconnect the battery because I want the ECU to stay on because I want to see if the check engine light will come back on. And then we're going to drive the car. I think we're going to go to the store. I just want to drive the car again, see if it happens. But I want to wait until it's like a little bit later just in case something does happen. I don't want to be out in the middle of traffic with a car that starts freaking out. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. I'm gonna try to show you guys with some light. I mean, it doesn't look crazy, but you see there's some corrosion even up there. So maybe doing a quick cleaning would be beneficial. So yeah, I think I'm on, that's one of them. There's one there, one underneath here, one underneath the battery, and there's like another one over there. It's like the grounding points. So I think actually doing a quick cleanup on those, that might actually help out. So I guess I am gonna probably take the battery out and uh, see if that works and then we'll take it for a drive and see how the car performs after that. I know why people say doing the oil pressure sensor is gonna be a pain in the butt because it is literally down there. Back here and it's deep. Oh my god. Some people some people actually cut a they take this off the cowl and they cut a hole to get to it. But uh yeah. That's another problem for another day. 
So after doing all of that, I'm gonna hook the battery back up. We are gonna still go for a test drive. I might wait until honestly, late at night just to make sure it doesn't die kind of just want to do loops around the neighborhood except for it doesn't look that great having a corvette to drive around at one o'clock in the morning just doing loops probably doesn't look the greatest but uh or i don't know we might take it to the store we were thinking about going to the store tonight so we might still do that uh i just want to make sure it's good give it a quick test drive just to make sure uh but we'll see so that's at least taken care of right now all right let's try this again I'm gonna give it a quick little bean as this car goes. And... Oh yeah, she still feels strong. Okay, cool. So, knock on wood, that may have fixed it. It went, the test drive went well. I was able to get on it a little bit and drive, no problems. So, I don't know. Maybe that fixed it, maybe not. But next video, we're gonna be changing the oil and just cleaning up the last little bits that need to be cleaned up inside the C5 Corvette. But if you guys haven't seen our last video, the epic road trip video when we drove across country, from Buffalo, New York, back to LA. Check this video out right here. See you in the next one.